the 5040 front plate and I kept wondering why this part would come out it's because you could optionally get a five and a quarter optical drive here in the front I'm not sure why you would do that when you already have one here but it's optional I looked around I've never seen anybody actually do that but so what we're gonna do is take this plastic cover off and then put the grill back so we're going to end up with full airflow like this. So we'll be right back. So here's the plate which I removed from the mesh. So these there's plastic rivets here and uh, what I did was I just ran a, like a razor blade utility knife under each one and they just popped. So you're just running a razor pop, 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 pop. You could do just two maybe and then pop, pull it off, but I didn't want to force it. So it's just a long razor blade like that. So now this plate is removed and now we have airflow to the five and a quarter slot. And then uh, you can just glue that in. There's no reason for this to come out anymore because I'm not gonna put a five and a quarter slot here. So this will be permanently installed. And then when you need to remove the drive here, you just take this off. So there's no reason for that to come off anymore. And now, as you can see, we have more airflow. Probably does nothing, but why not? This would be maybe a little bit helpful if you had a, originally there was a, uh, a three and a half inch hard drive in this slot, which could get hot, especially if you have like a high RPM one. I have now two SSDs here, so. I guess you could say it's cooling them, but anyway, just a fun project. I have to now just replace this power button. I don't know why it looks like that. And also I removed the optical drive. So we have to put something here to cover this hole and then we'll be done. <laughs> 